we left for about three hours came home and uh, we got a couple 12 inch drifts along the driveway up here where I pulled the truck in and backed out uh, right there about uh, I'm gonna guess five to six inches there uh, in that drift we're supposed to get 12 inches tonight but the bad problem is there's 30 mile an hour gusts and it's just drifting everywhere so should be fun to deal with in the morning I don't think we're going to do anything about it tonight really uh really no point I don't believe somewhere out here is our outdoor fire pit where I've been kind of feeding the birds lately must be getting soft first of my life I ever bought bird seed and I kind of enjoy watching them out the window now now there's not much else going on so let's clear that out and uh, there's a few robins over there and some cardinals waiting on me so I think they want breakfast Uh, should do for a little while. Might be kind of hard to see right in front of you but there's about a two foot drift started to push the uh, front of the tractor over real quick uh, so she just uh, bumped the loader up about an inch inch and a half and uh, got that plow right off the ground we might have to take a few passes to get this all cleaned up but it sure beats shoveling i'd say with the amount of snow we got the plow is doing a pretty good job it didn't try and push the front end over on the way back right there According to some buddies that don't live far from here, uh, they went out on the road and measured last night and had 14 inches. Unfortunately, the old farm all 400 is still sitting there in the snow. Uh, didn't get it out this fall. Still got to cut some trees out around it. But definitely want to get that out sooner than later. As soon as the ground firms up in the spring, I think we'll try and get a couple people over here and try and get the old girl out. It's a shame to see her just sit there and rot away. So do unicorns like to eat snow? I'm stuck. You're stuck? <laughs> nice unicorn hat. You were doing what? <laughs> yeah, you better get out of the way. Mommy will hit you with the snow plow. <laughs> I'm not even going to ask what's going on. The chicken doesn't like to walk in the snow? Snow is lava. You never know what you're going to find here. <laughs> a chicken riding a unicorn. She's trying to eat the unicorn too. <laughs>
Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that footage. I um, want to go over a few things here before we end the video. First thing, I am super proud of my wife. She jumps on the tractor with that snow plow and uh, like she's been doing it for years. She, as you guys can see, she did a fantastic job. Uh, I got a snow pile there, got a snow pile over there. There's one off the camera you can't see here and then one over here that I'll show you in a moment. But she does a fantastic job. Um, a few times the snow is just kind of heavy for being so powdery i've never seen a snow that's so heavy uh, it did kind of kick the front end of the tractor over a little bit but uh she just popped that loader up about an inch and just kept on plowing through and uh did a fantastic job second thing we got a lot more snow than i thought we were going to get usually around here historically it seems that uh if they call for 10 inches we're going to get five or we're going to get zero um, they were calling for like eight to 10 last night. And, uh, as I said earlier, some buddies of mine live in an area where the wind kind of, kind of, uh, doesn't affect them that much kind of shielded. They went out and measured to try and get an accurate, accurate measurement. I think they were around 12, 13 inches last night. Um, some places I heard got 14. So pretty awesome. Uh, this is definitely the biggest snowstorm I can remember in a long time. And definitely the biggest snowstorm that the kiddo has ever seen. Um, back here behind my wife's car, we had a snow drift that was uh, pretty close to 24 inches. There was a few in the driveway. Um, you can see as I spin around here. Um, I don't think we would have got through that with a four-wheeler and a snowplow. Um, there was a couple of big drifts in the driveway. The end of the driveway was kind of rough. And uh, we actually went to dinner last night. And on the way home, I knew they were calling for a snowstorm. I was like, yeah, whatever. So I went to dinner. On the way back, it wasn't the snow, it was the wind. Um, and I think that's what got us bad last night. Coming home, I actually went through, if you look back at the truck here, I actually went through some snow drifts that were above the bumper on the truck into the grill last night. Um, nothing the truck couldn't handle, nothing I couldn't handle. Uh, but uh, yeah, some pretty big snow drifts. And uh, the worst part was that about 4.45 this morning, I woke up just cause the wind was just whipping so hard. And I felt a little bit of a chill in the house. I was like, I'll get up and uh, I'll stoke the wood burner again, which we never have to do. We, we throw some wood in it at night before we go to bed and uh, we still have bright red coals the next morning. But uh, there's a little chill in the house. So I threw wood in there, sat in the couch, make sure it took back off all right. Looked outside and our flagpole is actually like kind of bending. I've never seen that happen before. And the flag was just standing straight. Uh, had a fantastic time at dinner last night. And um, I'm pretty sure my wife had a fantastic time today. Snow on the driveway. And uh, I think someone else had fun too. How cool is it that you can have your own uh, sledding hill with a chicken at the top? That is Anna. That's one of our Buckeyes. Uh, they're supposed to be very cold resilient. Uh, they were uh, they're a heritage breed from what, uh, what I've read. And they used Buckeyes to breed Rhode Island Reds, if I'm not mistaken, from some articles I read online. And that chicken does not care about the snow. She's been on that snow pile most of the day with the kiddo out here playing. So who needs a puppy when you have a chicken? Um, the chicken Shelly that makes uh, a lot of appearances on this YouTube channel, that chicken hates the cold and so she will never come out of the uh, hen house or the run. So it's good to have a backup favorite chicken, right? But that's going to wrap this up guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, all the support you guys continue to give us and it's fantastic. And I see the subscribers keep growing and that's also very cool for us. Get out of the sun here. Ah, uh, that's better. So I think that's about it. I'm going to wrap up the video. Uh, I'm actually going to start the uh, heater in the garage tonight, kind of thaw out the tractor. They're calling for, I think last I heard was three inches of snow again uh, in a couple days. So that shouldn't be a problem. Probably something we don't even have to snow plow. But uh, I'm ready for warm weather. I usually love winter. I love the fall. But uh, yeah, I'm just ready for some warm weather. Or even a vacation. That would be great, wouldn't it? I need a vacation. But, alright guys. Thanks for watching. As always, be safe. Have fun. 
uh, and try to make smart decisions. That's important. All right, I'm gonna go play with Kiddo in the snow and uh, the chicken Anna, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. If I've said it before, I've said it a million times. There is never a dull moment around here. They were playing over here. Next thing I know, the kid was laughing. Chicken jumped up on top of her head, and here we are. How you doing, Anna? If it was warmer out, she'd almost be a pirate, huh? Pirate and a parrot. Sometimes this is just too much for me. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Take care.